Hello friends, welcome to my bot framework tutorials. Here we are going to learn how to make the QA based bot application. So <clears throat> we are going to use for that QA maker.ai and which is going to integrate with the bot framework. So let's get started. So I just log into the https QA maker.api.ai. So here we can go and create our own services. QA maker dot ai is help to create us the knowledge base which take the content from the faq sections crawl and create knowledge base and same knowledge base we can use in our bot framework applications so let's get started i just click on the create new services i just give the name of faq kb i'm just going to take faq sections just need a url I have already logged in uh, to the bot framework FAQ sections. I just took the URL, place it here. It's going downward. We can just use the, if you don't have a URL, so we can use the files also where we have <coughs> placed the question, uh, our QA in form of questions and answers. It can be the doc, Excel, PDF files. And we just click on create. So it's take a couple of seconds. It will create a knowledge base for us. As you can see, it's already ready with the 15 question and answers here. We can train the system with these question. After this, we can publish it. Once it publish, we can verify here how many question in draft we have added and how many we have deleted. Again, we click on publish. So it just give the HTTP request, which is having an endpoint we can use in any other web applications. <clears throat> so here we have, these are the two important thing. We have a QA framework ID and the subscription key. QA is basically based on cognitive services and use the hidden NLP features. So let's get and just test uh, this activity. I clicked on edit services. Just navigate to the test. So we can take any questions from here, like we have a what is direct line channel. If I go and click here, what is direct line? Some understand and give the answers accordingly. Instead of direct line channel, I take the direct line. You can mention describe direct line. Let's give the answers of the same. When system has a capability, we can give the synonyms of the particular keywords. And again, we can train the system properly. And then those questions is going to add into the knowledge base that we will discuss in the in further <coughs> recordings. So we have let's uh, go to the Azure portal and let me create one bot application. So here I logged in. We just click on the new. I just search for a so here it gives the listings of the framework. We can select the web app bot. Web app bot is again like a cognitive based on cognitive services. Okay. Click on create. Here we can give the name. We can select our subscriptions, resource groups, pricing tier. As we have a, I have a free <coughs> pricing tier available. F zero I use. I'm going to use that one. Just give the app name. So important is which templates we are going to use. Basic template, form flow template, language understanding, which is <coughs> Louis, and QA and the pro proactive. We are going to use the QA maker and just click on the create as I already have bot framework application. So I'm not going to create new one. I'm going to navigate to the same. I just click it, close it and click my already created bot 2018 is my bot framework applications so it just give me all the features it's just give the code also you can click on the build you can see the code you can use the visual studio online editors to edit the code <clears throat> you can download the code change and upload it again or we can test the application into the web chat window also before that we need to set our QA, we need to integrate with the QA maker. <clears throat> you need to navigate to application settings. Here we need to provide the QA maker ID and the key. We are just going down. We are using, let me go there, QA maker. Let 
publish it again to find out the my key. I'm going here, publish. So here we have a key. Just going to take my key. So here we are providing the QA subscription key. So it's looking for ID. So this is our QA maker ID. So I <clears throat> move to the test in the web chat. We are going to test uh, these applications in the bot framework also. So here we just type the same. Hi. So expected result should be hello, but we have an QA maker. If you go mm -hmm. On edit services. So in the knowledge base, what questions we have? Hi, and the answer is hello. If I navigate to here, hello. So similarly, what we use? What is direct line? Same. We are getting the expected answers here also. So this is the way how we can integrate the QA maker with a bot framework. Now, <clears throat> this application, if we need to use it with any of the web applications, we can just <clears throat> navigate to channel. Here we can get the embedded code or we can integrate with the other channels. So we go to the <clears throat> get embedded code, click here. So here we are getting the iframe. We can use this iframe and we can take the secret key and just empty it in any of the web application web page. And this application will start work accordingly. Thank you very much for watching the <clears throat> my tutorials. Please like or subscribe my channel if you like it. Thank you.